So on the back of last week's victory on the work to a disappointed to at York today, Paul. Yeah, um, disappointing where we started, uh, disappointing where we finished as well, all the way through the game. Uh, I don't think we uh, executed to the standard that we did on Thursday night against Workington. Um, Forty-five percent completion in the first half, and especially in this heat, you know, it's going to take its toll. And uh, you know, we can't expect just to come to games expecting to win because we're not that kind of side yet. Um, you know, we've got to work hard and uh, get in that arm wrestle and you know build the performance. And last few weeks, I thought we've done that. Today, you know, we can say we're still on course. 45% completion, turning balls over silly, um, giving them a sniff early on. Um, second half, we were always chasing the game. We can't pull that down at all. You, you're going to force passes, you know, you're going to try executing some of what's not normally on because you, you're behind. And we had a 10 minute period where we could have gone and won the game, uh, but you can't just play for 10 minutes. You have to turn up and uh, you know, have a bit of desire. Uh, and today, we didn't have any of it. Must have been disappointed with the first half ball, the way the York packed into control again. Yeah, you know, <laughs> credit where credit's due. You know, they, they did dominate us, and you know, I've talked about my forwards week in week out dominating sides, and like I said today, you know, this heat's gone to some some of the heads. You know, they, they didn't do what I've asked them to do. They weren't doing what the uh, what they've done in recent weeks, and you know, they got a roll on. But you know, they, the forwards uh, did get us back into the game early. Uh, early in that second half and I say we, we can't just play for periods of ten minutes here and there. You know, we've got to come and build the performance. Um, you know, and when we learn to do that, you know, we can uh, we can restart winning games but we're not gonna win games if we're uh, putting efforts like we have done today. Are you still looking at the top eight? Are you a bit more nervous looking over your shoulder now? Not nervous. Uh, obviously we are always looking over the shoulder because we you know we've got a group of people who want to do well. Um, you know, and it's not just happening for some you know reason or another. Um, but yeah, there's goals are still top eight. You know, we got a win against Workington. You know, results aren't going our way again. Uh, but today, you know, if we'd have, it's in our hands, if we'd have won this game, we'd have been out of it. You know, we'd have been even looking towards six. But you know, top eight is still our goal. We've got some big games coming up. Um, you know, we've got a week off now. Um, hopefully, get them in. Give them a. The, see what we need to work on and uh, get working on that and hopefully people will see a different performance next week. Are you, um, so going into the Doncaster game, what are you looking for in the side from through from today's game? I just want us to start well. Uh, execution uh, and not just expect one of your other teammates to uh, to do it for you. You know, We've got 17 players who've got to work hard. You know, we haven't got so-called superstars who are one player is going to change the game for us. You know, we've got to work together. And, I'm just typically like an example today when Paul White picked the ball up from dummy half and got drove back 10 metres. You know, people just stood and watched it. You know, that's desire um, and working for your t not working for your teammate. Uh, so that'll be installed in this week. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.